Do you know that feeling where every action and movement flows from the previous one? That energized focus found by immersing yourself in something you love, where time fades and all else falls away, an effortless melody of being fully alive. It's a place experts call flow state. For a long time, I didn't know why I love the things I do. The danger, the challenge, and the unknown. Except each time I stepped past that place of uncertainty, I felt more free. People find flow state through extreme sports, experiences in nature, music, meditation. The list is endless, but the universal similarity seems to be that we all seek this feeling of transcendence. Triggering flow state relies on a number of different things. I need to engage multiple sensory streams at once, learning through doing. I want to feel the wind under my skin and the abyss under my feet. Being in nature surrounds me with a rich environment that makes my senses come alive. Transient hypofrontality is the fancy name, meaning my thoughts get quiet, and that inner critic, that part of me that's worried about the future or thinking about the past, is traded for one of deep presence and focus. I've gotten better at this over time, but even now, before every single dive, there's something in me that says I'm not ready. Wait to take another breath. Wait for a smaller wave. I realized I will never feel ready. Studies show that if you want to trigger flow, the challenge should be 4% greater than the skills. So that place of not feeling ready is actually exactly where I'm meant to be. I now dedicate a lot of my life to the pursuit of flow state. It's the glue that makes everything I love make sense. Fulfillment comes to you from doing challenging things that have no other reward than the pure joy of doing them. And in these moments of deep presence, that's where you'll find your flow state.